get the feeling this is going to be a long video so I'm going to have some water. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I went shopping last weekend for mainly clothes but also some bedding as well and bits to go in my new room. I'm starting my placement in August so I need to have some smart work clothes for that and I don't have that many because obviously I'm only 20 like I haven't had I haven't really had experience in a proper like working office before so I was getting clothes for that let's just get straight into it with this haul and I'm going to start off with Primark so I'll show you what I got bedding wise or well accessories for my room get let's get the boring bits out of the way I got a plain white bed sheet, double bed sheet for this bed. Uh, this was 9.50, it's from their luxury Primark home range. I really like the packaging of this. To go with that sheet I got two pillowcases which will be for the two pillows underneath um, the top pillows because whenever you buy a duvet set most of the time they only come with two pillowcases and I like four pillows on my bed. Is that excessive for one person? I don't think so. These were 3 50 And um, now on to cushions for my bed. This bedding here is very kind of tropically, a bit Hawaiian-esque uh, with the like tropical flowers and the leaves. And I wanted a, a more plain duvet cover for when this is in the wash. Um, so I opted to get a plain whitish one, which I'll show you after I've done the Primark section of this haul. I picked up three cushions that will go on my bed here. So the first one I got was this parrot cushion which is very colourful. It's got this aqua blue background which is kind of geometric and then it's got this green parrot on it and I think this was in the sale it was like five pounds I believe. Another pillow I got was this black embroidered cushion with pom-poms all around it. It's got pink pom-poms and it's got this lovely embroidery which makes it look really expensive I think. I think it gives kind of like a bohemian, a retro kind of 70s vibe which I really liked. This cushion was £7. The final cushion I got was this longer rectangular cushion which has got this bright pink like velour at the back which I think is amazing. I love a bit of floor. And this, like the previous one, has got some pom-poms down here, so I thought they would go quite well together. And this one's a lot more kind of Aztec-y, a bit of fringing down here, but I just loved the bright colours on this one. I thought it was amazing, and it's got these little tassels, tassel fringy bits at the sides, which kind of reminds me of um, Aladdin, the uh, flying carpet. Another item I got from Primark was this sun hat. I've got a big head, which is for my holiday. So when it's warm, I won't burn my face or my head. This was three pounds, so pretty affordable for a hat. And then I got two clothing items from Primark. I got one pair of jeans, which I really, really like. They are these mum jeans, which have got this lovely, like, embroidered stitching on the side there, which is very on trend at the moment. And they've got the turn up at the bottom, which I really like in a mum jean. I think it's a lot more flattering than if it just goes straight leg. These were £17. So a bit more pricey for like a Primark jean, but they're like a proper, they're proper denim. These are the Primark mum jeans with the embroidered detail down the side here. Um, they fit all right. I think I'll need a belt and they're like the turn ups at the bottom. And the other clothing item I got from Primark was this blouse. It gives the illusion of like a wrap front like it crosses over at the front it's striped with black and what kind of beigey brown and I thought that would look really smart with work trousers and it's got a roll-up sleeve there but I just thought this looked quite professional 
it was £10 this and they had it in a different colour as well I think maybe black and white um, but I went for this colour because I thought it would look a bit more interesting with black, plain black trousers. This is the shirt from Primark that I picked up which has got this like wrap over detail here and that's the three quarter length sleeve which I think is quite a flattering length um, and the v-neck isn't too low at all and you could have gold necklace to go here. They are the clothing items that I got from Primark. From Debenhams got a duvet set from there and picked up a Matthew Williamson double duvet cover set which is from his butterfly home range and this is the Arabella I believe and it doesn't look like much on here you probably can't see that um, but basically it's plain white but it's got tassels here so it's got like fringing little tassel pieces that just add a bit more interest and a bit more texture to the duvet cover which I think will tie in quite nicely with the cushions that I picked up from Primark because they had tassels on as well. There was a sale going on in Debenham so I got this for I think it had like 20% off. It was £60 originally and I we got it for 48 I believe so that's definitely worth having that discount. Another place I went for kind of placement shopping was Clark's for some smart shoes and so I picked up some smart flat shoes that I'll be able to wear when I don't want to wear heels or heeled sandals or anything like that and they look like this so they've got like a t-bar here and these are wide fit and they've there's not much else to say about them really they're leather I thought they'd look quite nice either with tights, with bare legs, with like kind of tea dresses and nice dresses like that. I thought that would look quite pretty. These were £45 because they're probably leather. From M&S I picked up some work trousers. These are plain black and they are the Modern Slim with stretch. They're really comfortable, like they've got a good stretch to them and they've they go quite high rise as well. They were actually £19.50, which I think is very good for a good pair of trousers. These are the M&S trousers. Fit quite nicely. They're like reasonably high rise. Also from M&S, I got a work dress, which has got three quarter length sleeves and it's striped. It is like a skater style, so it goes in at the waist and it's got a zip at the back, it's an easy one to wear, just, you just throw it on with tights or no tights and then a nice statement necklace as well and this dress was £45. Because we're still on, on the theme of black items of clothing I thought I would show you a jacket that I got from Monsoon in the sale and it's this, again not much to say about it, it is a work jacket like a smart blazer um, that has, it's got no, has it got pockets? Oh no, it does have pockets, it's got no buttons and it's got a little bit of padding in the shoulders so it gives you a really nice structure. That was originally £59 and we got it for £29.50, so pretty much half price off, which is amazing. This is the uh, M&S dress with the stripes. And this is what it looks like with the monsoon blazer, which just fits really nicely. But warehouse, out of all the items I tried on, I only ended up getting one dress. It was this wraparound, kind of kimono-esque dress. It's black, but it's got this lovely kind of florally pattern on. It's got like leaves and flowers on it, and it's got a tie around the waist to give you some shape. And it was. £55 that one and they actually do student discount in warehouse it's definitely worth knowing that if you're a student like me and you need to get some work stuff because warehouse has actually got a lot of stuff which is appropriate for younger people starting off in the office. This is the warehouse dress you can see that it's got the wrap around here and then it buttons here so it's very secure 
and then it ties here and it's just I really like it it's nice it's got like gapy sleeves here which gives that kind of kimono vibe and the final place we went to on our shopping trip was House of Fraser and they've got obviously different concessions within their store and I bought something from the Topshop concession, Oasis concession and the Miss Selfridge concession. For the dress I got from a Topshop concession was this stretchy fabric that seems quite popular at the moment. It's got the cold shoulder cut out here on the shoulder and it's like this lovely blush pink which is pretty much midi length I believe. It's got this tie around the waist to give it some shape. I thought this fit really nicely. It's just like a lovely material that's quite flattering I think and that was £36. This is the Topshop midi dress which has got like the crinkled fabric which I really 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 like. Nice and stretchy, it's comfortable, there's a lot of movement yet there's still like shape there with the belt as well and I like the added detail with the shoulder cutouts. The Oasis concession got a tea dress which is this patterned dress and it's a bit like looser around the middle which is really nice it's not too kind of tight and restricting and this dress was originally £45 and we got it for £22 which is so good that's half price so definitely worth having. This is what the Oasis dress looks like on as you can see it's just quite nice and floaty. The sale at Miss Selfridge in the concession in House of Fraser got some sandals, heel sandals, which I thought would be great for both my holiday and also for work as well because they're like plain black, they've got a little bit of a heel, they're quite smart looking and they just go with anything pretty much. And these were originally £39 got them for 25 and it goes they go up the ankle so it's quite flattering actually kind of slimming down that area of the leg so that concludes my haul i hope you enjoyed this interesting it's like slightly different haul for me because it's not just all different clothes it's actually targeted for my placement so it's all work clothes so hopefully that's quite interesting for some people out there that are looking for work clothes and they're not really sure what's available currently. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos as well. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye!